What would you do if you were on vacation and you saw someone new buried four years ago? Would you follow them? Well this elderly woman did. Maria Smith was having a great time with her grandchildren on the beach but their vacation came to an abrupt end, when she saw her daughter and her kind, Lisa and Robert who had died four years earlier. How can the dead walk among the living? Did they abandon their daughters Betty and Amy for her to take care of? What were the questions that crossed her mind? She decided to follow them. But first let me tell you how Amy and Betty lost their parents. Two years ago Lisa was dropping her daughters off at her mother's house to go on a camping trip with her husband. Unfortunately, the couple had an accident on the way home, according to the police report. Robert was driving over the speed limit when he lost control of his car, and ended up in the river under the bridge, the current was so strong that they could not find the bodies, either the husband or wife. Maria could do nothing but accept the fact that Lisa and Robert were dead. Since they lost their parents, the girls have been going through a difficult time. So Maria saved money for several months to enjoy the vacation and forget this tragedy. On the plane? The girls kept looking out the window hoping to see the ocean, Maria smiled as she watched them and then tried to get some sleep, once they arrived in San Diego, the girls finally saw the ocean they had been waiting for, and they couldn't hide their joy, their grandmother had to work extra hard to keep them safe, hold on girls, don't even try to go near the water without your life jackets on, she said laughing out loud, every time she was at the beach in San Diego. Maria made sure the girls didn't go far in the water. One day she was reading a novel when she noticed that one of the little ones, Amy, was standing next to her, she didn't understand why, the little one looked so sad, what's wrong my little angel? Are you tired of swimming? She asked. Amy answered, Grandma, I think I just saw mom and dad at the beach, they were standing next to a snack stand, holding hands and laughing, they don't like us anymore. I think they are alive and they have left us, Maria was shocked by the girl's words, Lisa and Robert passed away a few years ago, she then told Amy that she must have made a mistake, but the latter who was usually calm, became very agitated. She was sure it was her parents she saw a few minutes ago. Maria asked her to take her to where she had seen them, she thought Amy was wrong but when she finally saw Lisa and a man who looked like Robert, she almost fainted and it took her a few minutes before she recognized that those eyes were not deceiving her, tears streamed down her face. She had been mourning them for years, not knowing they were alive, nevertheless, she noticed that the man holding her daughter's hand, although he looked like Robert, had a slightly different physique. At that very moment, Lisa and her partner grabbed their snack and headed straight to town, the elderly woman who was still in shock decided to follow them, she was holding tightly to her two little girls who were walking behind her, fortunately she was not aware of their presence, suddenly, the twosome entered a luxurious house, how could they have such a big house, she thought, knowing she couldn't find out herself, she called the police, but Maria had no idea she was in for a shocking revelation. Thankfully, the police soon arrived, they entered the house and began to ask the couple some questions, but they refused to cooperate with the officers and they had to be arrested, it was when they arrived at the police station that the man who was with Lisa made a shocking confession guess what, it turned out that he was Robert's twin brother, Ryan. Ryan Edouard, was very different from his smart and honest twin, he was a cunning and bossy man who often got into trouble, after high school two brothers went to different universities because the parents didn't want him to be a negative influence on his brother although they did their best to help Ryan change his life. They realized it was too late and separated him from his twin. Robert found a good job after graduating from college, while his brother got into crime, and was imprisoned for robbery, his sentence was also extended because he committed another crime while in prison. When he got out of prison his twin already had a wife and two beautiful daughters, but that wasn't all. Unfortunately, his parents also passed away. Realizing that he was all alone, he had nowhere to go so he contacted his brother. A week later, he was at Robert's house in Texas, Robert was very happy to see him, but he didn't know that Robert had other intentions in mind. Ryan wanted to have everything his brother had, to carry out his plan, 
he had to seduce Robert's wife, and it was not as difficult as he thought, Lisa was already impressed by his broad shoulders, his deep voice, and his imposing presence, she never liked her husband, on the contrary, she always thought he was shy, the young woman married him just because he was smart and rich. Twelve weeks after Ryan's arrival in Texas, Ryan and Lisa began an affair, which led to the terrible crime they committed, are you ready to go all the way with me Lisa? I think I've found a way that we can be together, just you and me, and we won't have to worry about Robert and girls, said Ryan, hugging his brother's wife. Yes honey, I'm more than ready to go to the ends of the planet, replied Lisa. The seasoned criminal came up with a perfect plan to get rid of his brother and acquire his money. First, he convinced Lisa to withdraw all the money from her brother's account. Then he persuaded her to go on a hike out of town. Robert agreed to go only if they could go together. Lisa dropped their daughter off at Maria's house but didn't tell anyone that Ryan was going on vacation with them. While they were there, Lisa added sleeping pills to her husband's tea. After a while, he passed out, and Ryan put his unconscious body directly into the car and orchestrated the accident. The ex-convict knew that the current of the water near the bridge was very strong, this would make it difficult to find the bodies. After taking all of his brother's money, Lisa and Ryan moved to San Diego, they bought a house on the coast of the city. He lived a sumptuous life. However, they never imagined that their evil deeds would one day return. Five months after Lisa and Ryan's arrest, Maria was back in Texas with her little girls. Then one day she heard a knock on her door, when she opened it she saw a familiar face that made her slam the door almost immediately. It's Robert not Ryan please open the door, I need to talk to you. I have enough evidence to show you and you can also call the police for confirmation. Indeed, it was Robert. But how did he survive? After the water got him in range where his twin staged the accident, he was found by fishermen who rescued them, he remained in coma for several months, and did not remember anything when he woke up, so he lived with the fishermen and started a new life. He only regained his memory when he saw the detention of Lisa and her twin on a local TV station. When he saw the picture, he remembered what he had done to him and explained his story to one of the fishermen who drove him to Maria's house. Robert apologized to Betty and Amy for missing all those years. Fortunately, he was able to retrieve some things that Lisa and Ryan had taken. And use the money to take care of Maria and her girls. So what do you think about this story? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and make Panda happy. Subscribe to the channel and activate the notification button so you don't miss any of our next videos. Thanks for watching and see you soon for a completely new story. See you soon, love you YouTube family.